What is up guys? Um, it has been so long since I've done a Game Dev Tycoon that I actually can't remember what number episode this is. I should probably find that out, but if I am right, which I'm almost 100% think I am, then yes, we're right back in here where we were. Uh, we sent a bunch of people on vacation, I think. Um, we released a game called Waypoints. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I was, um, I was taking random parts from Diablo 2 <laughs> and turning them into the names of the games. That's okay. So, um, okay, I am back to where we were. I am, I am all caught up. So let's develop a sequel, I guess. Can we make MMOs? Have we done that yet? Oh no, because we needed a design expert, didn't we? No particularly strong trends at the moment, that's okay. So let's develop a sequel. I'm going to go back uh, to gun persons. I'm going to make gun people. No, we're going to make... Oh, because we already did gun people. And then we did gun persons as a sequel to that. So we're going to do... Um, pistol guys. It's like gun people. Except... Um, it's not. It's going to be for mature uh, action. Yeah, no, you know what? Just, just action, and we'll release it for the Mbox 360, I guess. Oh no, we don't have any licenses, so we're going for the PC. Right? Yeah, of course. And the new one, new engine, 3D graphics, V5. Let's start development. Go. Hoorah! Uh, let's start marketing this straight away. And we've got like. We've got 147 million. We're going to do a small, gigantic uh, thing. <laughs> uh, another memorable game by Be uh, another memorable game by Beer and Games has been released. This game doesn't just tell you a story. No, it manages to draw you in so that you truly feel part of their adventure. What can I say? Stop reading. Start playing. Which game? I imagine waypoints. Kind of makes the most sense, to be honest. Right. So dialogues, uh, dialogue tree. Yep, 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 yep. yep. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to leave it there, because I can't really remember what works for action. Oh, I think maybe I should have put AI up though. Oh dear. Yeah, because dialogues don't work well in action, do they? And did I... Oh, I'll put it as an action adventure. I may have completely fucked this title already. Uh, we, we just want enough to have... Oh, there we go. We just want enough to have... All, fucking hell, Austin is really overweight, so we're going to put Joanne on there. Oh, right. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. We've already got, like, 68 hype. Ooh, and then someone comes. I agree. I will do that. Um, more on engine. You're welcome for my time. That was, uh... Ooh, the new by the inventor. Not entirely sure. If I want to go for that. Uh, professionals agree with this. Yes. Hi. Actually, I think you get hype whether you get it right or not. This guy should be really close to... Sorry, me. <laughs> should be really close to becoming a design specialist so we can start working on getting MMO titles and things like that. We're on year 20 at the moment. I think at year 35, that's when the kind of um, scheduled events stop happening, like the console releases and things like that. But I'm not entirely sure. I will have to read up. Like, I have a really bad problem with making sure I know everything about a game before I actually start playing it. What can you do? Oh, there we go, I thought a bug slipped in then, I was about to go crazy. Crazy, crazy. So I'm gonna pay rise. Oh well, let's just um, immersive storytelling. Is that not what we're already doing? Uh, can this guy become design specialist yet? No, he needs 700 and he's got 640. So, game design course. I imagine that's like design points. It looks like design points. It has design right there in the name of it. Ooh, pistol guys. What do you think, guys? Two. Oh. Three. Oh. Four. Oh. Oh my god. Let's not even let's not even talk about that. Let's just completely forget that exists. Come on, I, if I remember correctly, um, for RPGs, design is supposed to have a crap load more anyway. One bot oil limited. Uh, decline. I uh, I don't I don't want to send my company's money to a Nigerian prince, to be honest. 
I know a lot of people who have fallen for that scam in the past, but we're not we're not going to do that here at Beer and Games. Stop! Stop losing fans! Oh, it's really doing awful as well. Aha! We we didn't we didn't do that. Yeah, hooray! Hooray! We're very close to three hundred hype. Holy shit! Uh, we'll drop sound down. Is anyone overworked? Joanne is overworked, so let's um, put Drew on there. Although actually it is a mix of both, so I'll put Lucas on there and I'll move Drew to here. Good, okay. It's looking good. The hype would have been a lot more if the advertising would have actually paid off. Uh, I think that, I think it's a problem with advertising before you actually start any of the, the stages, like before Stage one. Pistol Guys is now off the market. <laughs> I'm so sorry, world, that I had to release that 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 horror upon you. In fact, that is a really high score. I'm not surprised that's a record for both of those, to be honest. Hooray, release the game. Online play, no loading screens, dynamic world, orchestral sound drop. Yes, we have to get all of those things. But first, we need to check if this guy can become a design specialist. Yes. Okay. Generate game report. Gener what do you think? What do you think? Come on. Go on. Hi. Yes. Eight. Good. Seven. Good. Seven. Good. Yes. 7.25. What an odd score is 7.25. Yes. That is very good and I'm very, very happy with that. So let's go into research. We want um, online play. We want that. We need it. We've got to have it. And we have zero research points left. Like we have nothing left at all. The fuck, guys? Come on. Fine. Fine. 500k sales in its second week. Good. That's very good. Keep going. Get us back all the fans that we've lost. <laughs> From the horrible game that was Pistol People that we don't talk about anymore. Okay, we can up. I didn't even read that, and I just kind of. The buttons really shouldn't be clickable until they're, you can see them. Because I keep doing that. Internet opportunities. We need to research that. So, welcome to our own very uh, our very own research and development lab. Hooray. Uh, we don't have to hire them individually. Instead, instead, we just use a slider. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, go, go, go. Yes, that's very cool. Let's just go, okay? Go. Start project. Internet opportunities. Uh, this is the one that leads to MMOs. And we want MMOs because with MMOs we can make expansion packs. And I'm pretty... Okay. And I'm pretty... Fuck! <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Yeah, let's, okay, next one quickly before I fucking. Jesus, right. And I'm fairly confident that we can just like pour the shit out of um, our expansion packs. I'm fairly confident we could do that. Uh, sequel to Waypoints. Hmm. Uh. God damn it, why does this always happen when I play this game? So aside from uh, being able to set them as design or technology specialist, you can also set them a specific category which they're really good at. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, set all my people up to have really good things in certain categories. And then um, what that means is the higher the person's skill is for that, like if you assign them a, a, a design heavy uh, specialization, and then they're in charge of that thing when when they're working on that part of it they will release more design bubbles or something along those lines it's just basic basically it's really good i'm having a herp -a derp day like a really bad herp -a derp day so yeah that's what happens it does good stuff and good stuff comes out and then uh, we can also do all of the good stuff with that so hooray let's train this bitch uh we're gonna put him in World design. Oh, it costs. It costs a lot of IP. Never mind. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do anything. Like that. Let's develop a custom game engine. Oh, reviews for Sword. How to do? Come on, really good. Come on. Eight or higher. Obviously, I'm not gonna get an eight now because I just got two sevens. Ah, seven point two five. We seem to be doing like really, really average. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Not great is probably the answer. 
GR phone does not support large games. So we'll do it for the phone and the GS. We'll take pick up both of those licenses. Have we got any other handheld stuff? Uh, the PPS. Hello, Super Duper Engine. Uh, sequel to Sir Drink Slot. What is it? Mystery RPG. Uh, Mystery RPG. We'll call it Lord Drinks Enough. And the next one will be called Baron Drinks Too Little. There we go. Getting, uh, getting ourselves prepared. Oh shit, these guys need a vacation, don't they? I mean... I'm sure we can send them on vacation when, once we start working out the bugs. I'm pretty confident I could I could totally do that. Um, but not right now, I guess. <laughs> Please don't crap out on me. I'll send them on vacation like two at a time. How's that? Uh, oh shit. And graphics are all like, whoa mate. Don't like that. Uh, day and night cycle, unrealistic weather. Um, and... Because like... The sound is really suffering there, but not as much as the graphics. So we'll, we'll kind of like even them out, I guess. I guess that will do. It might fuck with our game, it might not, so we're just going to send this guy on vacation. Sorry, let's go, Joan. Let's send Joan on vacation. Go on vacation. Just while they're finishing up the bugs, really. You can generate a game report for Sword. We'll get a medium booth for Lord Drinks Enough, then we'll release this game, check out the scores, and then I think we'll end the episode there. Because we've been here for a solid... Wow. <laughs> I've been here for a solid 40 minutes now. <laughs> and most of that has been me staring into my monitor. I'm not really saying the right lot. <laughs> I've forgotten so much about this game. Go, 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 go. I could see as well that the microphone is really badly picking up. I got only mouse. And um, it's very loud. <laughs> it's very loud clicking mouse. Cool, that's put some re a crap load more hype on our game. Uh, hooray. Let's release that bad boy. Come on, how'd it do? Come on, come on. Here we go. Lord drinks enough. What? What? Ah! You joke! Yeah. Okay. So that has been episode question mark of Game Dev Tycoon. Um. I haven't played this in a long time, and I'm definitely going to get back into this. Because I'm not sure how fun this is for you guys to watch, but it's a lot of fun for me to play. Especially getting myself into a lot of trouble with the ratings boards, I guess. Uh, next time we should be able to uh, get the MMO and just start pumping out crap loads of expansions. So don't forget to like uh, this video if you enjoyed the content, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more of my beautiful, amazing face. Um, and of course, leave a comment if you've got something you want to say, and aside from that, you can follow us on Twitter, I'll put the link here, somewhere around here, like this. Uh, yeah, I've been Jason from Beer and Games, bye-bye. Hey, what's up guys, Jason here from Beer and Games, with the, uh, June, it's June, isn't it? With the June update. Hooray! So, the very first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that we're changing the schedule slightly. Um, I'm going to put it up on, on the screen somewhere around here. Uh, we're going to start doing live streams on Saturdays, not counting the Saturday that's that's coming. I'm not quite sure what the date is. Uh, not not counting this Saturday. I'll, I'll put the date on screen also. <laughs>